Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So you've probably seen this frame before and um, you're probably saying why is it on the channel again and you did see this frame but not this exact frame. Now this is the XL7. The XL7 is a bit different than the XL5. The XL5 is a 5 inch. This guy is a 7 inch which is pretty damn insane. So let's just actually take a better look at this guy. Um, I don't usually have the camera set this high to get him into in full picture. So this is just pretty insane right here. So you can see um, right there, and we'll see the size difference here. So it does have a noticeable size difference. Now this is gonna be pretty good for a lot of things. Uh, one thing it's gonna be good for long range, uh, its weight is surprisingly low for being a seven inch. It's only 120 grams, which is pretty insane. I was expecting around 150 grams. Uh, so that's one thing to take note of and um, I am looking to be doing a long-range quadcopter build and this is going to be the best candidate for it. Now obviously it's, it fits 7 inch propellers up to 7 inch propellers so you can put 5, 6 and 7. So if we put 6 it should be in theory super quiet because the body size has not changed from the 5 inch. It's, it's basically almost the same. It's basically identical actually. So I really love the fact that they were able to keep the weight down to 120, 120 grams, which is, you know, some 5-inch quads uh, frames actually weigh this much. So this is going to be pretty good. Uh, I really do like this. And just a couple things about it. Everything fit absolutely beautiful. You know, the, everything aligned good. Uh, especially, you know, something that I really, really loved. It's super tiny, but I really do love it when this happens. When I put the camera mount through the top plate, it was so satisfying. Um, I, I can't explain it, but it was just that perfect, you know, just took, it just clicks in and it's good. And when I went to the second one, I was worried, I was like, ah, this one's probably not going to be as good. And the same exact thing happened. So that's a huge plus. That means the cuts are clean. Uh, they're doing a pretty good job. They're watching their stuff. And also the bottom plates just slid absolutely phenomenal. Uh, I know there's little, t little things here, but these really do add up and um, it just changes the whole experience for me. Now, talking about flight characteristics, I have flown the 5 inch version, it's beautiful, stock beta flight pids will just have you going absolutely phenomenal. Uh, the whole top mount battery thing, actually I, I do would like to prefer to fly top mount, but um, there isn't many quads that are good that are top mount in my opinion. But flying top mount is actually very nice, I really did like it because I could go super low without worrying about my battery catching, and it just felt more more in control i can't explain it it felt very good actually so this is also this is also a top mount battery uh frame here so it's gonna be pretty good in that perspective and um yeah it's just gonna be pretty insane i really don't know what this I, I really can't say anything about this just yet until we build it and we're gonna be building this right after this is gonna be the second build on the channel and um i just can't wait to get it going so um overall i mean you have four millimeter arms here two millimeter top plate uh, two millimeter bottom plate and two millimeter bottom bottom plate and one millimeter camera mount plate thingy. So it's pretty good. You do have all your mounting solutions here. I really do like that. That's a big plus. Uh, you also have a bunch of little holes. You can zip tie stuff if you wanted to, like your VTX. There is no hole for your VTX, so you're gonna have to kind of get creative here. What I've done on my previous one is I've actually set it down here, double sided tape and just one zip tie, not super tight, but just to hold it in place. Because if you put that zip tie too tight in a crash. It'll ruin your VTX. Um, and, oh yeah, some other feature that I really like to add, I didn't know what it was for in the beginning, is this right here. This little cut right there. Now, why would you say, why do I love this little cut right here? Well, because when your camera's in here, depending on your angle, I put my zip tie through here around the camera and stick it out the other side. And I do have a 3D printed part for my GoPro session. So when I stick it here, it has a flat part, which zip ties can go through. So I would zip tie that and then zip tie it from back here. It'll hold it in place. Absolutely beautiful. And um, I really do like this because other than that, it would have been a pain to actually get a GoPro on top of this guy. But this is just, just it's beautiful. Um, it's all I can really say right now. It's absolutely phenomenal. I really do love it. And, well, that's all I could really say, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. We're going to be building this guy very soon. And, um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Take care, guys. See ya.